guys, it's Patriots Man here and I am back with another video. Today guys, in this video we are going to talk about some changes that are going to be happening with the Elimination Tournaments, which they actually started this past weekend, but EA has, has decided they're going to start making some changes to them um, in this upcoming week, kind of testing the stuff out this upcoming weekend, because some things did not go exactly as planned. There were some things that weren't working, you know, as needed. Um, the community was having some issues with this tournament when it came to matchups. When it came to people just scoring way too fast, like not being able to win because people were basically, you know, buffing up their teams in a certain group of overalls and it was just way too hard. So these are, these are some things that they're going to be adding into the elimination tournaments, kind of changing, kind of tuning up to make sure it's a better user experience and to kind of just make it better. So we're going to go over these changes. So it says, this weekend's tourney will be more of a test to see how the changes play out. Because of this, it will only be available for 24 hours from Saturday night to Sunday night. Now, the two lowest brackets are now going to cost 50 Madden cash instead of 100. However, the Madden cash given out is going to be less because, of course, you're putting less in. Um, a minimum overall of 7.5k overall is now going to be required to play rather than like random 4,000 overalls going in. This is to prevent some cheating that was going on, so apparently there was some cheating going on with the tournaments behind the scenes that we couldn't exactly see. So that could be one reason they're changing some of the stuff here in the elimination tournaments. Um, brackets are going to change a bit. So the new brackets are going to be 9,000 to 10,500 uh, for 50 Madden cash to enter. Also 50 Madden cash to enter would be 10,500 to 12,450. 12,450 to 15,000 overall would be 100 Madden cash to enter. And additionally, you'll have 15,000 to 18,000 overall, which will also be 100 Madden cast to enter. Now, when you see the 15,000 to 18,000 overall, that is not your total team. That basically means that all your players are going to have to be, you know, below a certain overall. So basically take the highest number, which is 18K, divided by 30, because 30 is how many players are on your team. When you do that, you get 600. So everybody on your team has to be 600 overall or lower to be in the 15k to 18k now for 12.45k to 15k this one right here again divide by 30 you're going to get 500 every player on your team has to be below 500 overall 500 or below and you will be able to enter this do the same with those the 10.5k divided by 30 and the 12.45k divided by 30 that tells you the overall players you need for each one so those are the new brackets and i guess kind of making the brackets smaller and making the overalls closer is going to give people those better matchups they're looking for. Now matchmaking will now be based on overall. So for example, if the cutoff is 10% up or down, it will now be impossible to match outside of those parameters. So basically what they were doing is people who were in their championship round, they were matching up with other people in their championship round. So that meant that some people could be having like uneven overalls and then the person with the highest overall obviously has a really big advantage and the person with the lower overall is just going to lose their championship. So now what they're doing is it's not going to be by rounds. Basically, in every round that you play, you should have someone around your overall to make sure it's a fair matchup for both, and each person has like an equal opportunity to win. Now, there are going to be no more timeouts. There's likely going to be some play limits, so two plays per drive, meaning that you can only call the same play twice per drive. So if you call him Hail Mary twice, you can't just spam Hail Mary again. If you call tight end out twice, you can't call tight end, out ag tight end out again. Halfback toss, any play in the playbook can only be called twice per drive. And finally, no change to difficulty yet, but can be done if need be. So I believe it's currently on all pro. So all Madden would be likely what, what the next difficulty would be, but I believe it's gonna stay on all pro for right now. So yeah, those are all the changes coming up for the elimination tournaments. It's only gonna run for one day this upcoming weekend to test out the changes. Now I know in this past elimination tournament for the past weekend that just passed, I gained about 4,000 Madden cash by building a good team, a pretty solid team that was able to go through and just win some games. So I was pretty happy to be able to get 4,000 Madden cash right there. But we'll see how this all goes, how all these changes go down. And of course, elimination tournaments should change for the better in the future. So that's it guys for this video. Hopefully you guys are thoroughly informed with this information. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.